Hi, Stephanie Montero, again from the Leyland Museum on a Thursday afternoon with an artifact spotlight. Today I want to talk about this object right here. Um, if you haven't seen one before, it's going to look very unfamiliar. This is what is popularly called a chuck wagon pantry. It's also called a portable pantry. Um, these were patented in 1893. It's made of tin. It was made by the, um, before the Standard Cabinet Country Company by Hiram B. Hunt Stamping Works in Kansas City. If you look at it up close, you can see Standard Cabinet and you can see that it was very highly decorated. And in fact, we have a photograph here of what it looked like um, more freshly painted, pretty elaborately decorated. So these were actually advertised for kitchens for the lady of the house to have greater convenience and greater cleanliness in her kitchen. Staples, of course, were sold in bags, sold in bulk, and so you had to have a place to put the different objects that you needed. So what this held, right here, this was actually a flour sifter, and the flour came out here. Um, over here, you had a coffee grinder Right here would have been a crank, but it's missing at this point. These are jars for different spices. They can be removed, and they're literally jars with four different spices. Down here, as I said, this is um, flour. Here, this held sugar, and this held meal, so cornmeal, oatmeal, something along that line. And this actually functioned as a bread box. So it might have hung on a wall or could potentially been on, on a table or a counter um, and would have been very convenient to have all the things that you needed. It was also widely used, and in fact it was sold more of these in the West than in any other place, and was widely used in, say, chuck wagons. Um, think about it for somebody who's having to travel on a wagon and cook meals for a big group of people at all times. One place to hold all of the different staples that were going to be needed and something made of, say, metal, so it was a little bit harder for um, critters to get into what you were trying to cook. This would have been perfect. And this one looks like it might have been used in a chuck wagon um, kind of situation because it's certainly very warm and most of the paint has come off of it. Um, these spirits stayed very popular from their creation in 1893 for, say, 10, 20 years. But with the invention of the Hoosier cabinet, um, they were basically supplanted. The Hoosier cabinet had pantry air storage on the upper part, but it was actually one piece of furniture that also had a work table underneath. And that became the accepted thing that everybody wanted in their kitchen um, to have greater convenience for cooking. So we're very happy to have this here. Happy to tell you about it today. It's kind of a fun object. Hope you've had a wonderful week and we'll see you back here next Thursday for another Artifact Spotlight. Thank you.